What's up everyone and welcome back to Top 5 Central. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 5 worst maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Feel free to subscribe to our channel below to stay up to date with our latest top 5s and make sure you leave your recommendations of top 5s you'd like to see in the future down in the comment section below. Also, we just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the channel lately. We are so close to 20,000 subscribers. We're about 500 subscribers off when I make this video. So if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe by clicking the red button down below. Uh, it really means a lot to us. Anyways, with that said, let's begin with the top 5 worst maps in Zombies. Number 5, Nuketown from Black Ops 2. A lot of people were excited when this map came out. The classic Nuketown from Black Ops could not possibly be a bad map when it was just so good for multiplayer. The map design was good, we really did like the simplicity of it, but the overall reason this map made the list was because of the perks on the map. You couldn't just buy doors to get the perks, they would drop from the sky and you would have to hope to get the perk you needed. This also included the Pack-a-Punch. Every 5 rounds or so, a new perk would drop from the sky, so in some games you might not get Juggernaug or be able to Pack-a-Punch your weapon until round 20. Another reason we don't like Nuketown is that the map doesn't have any sort of wonder weapon besides the ray gun. We would have hoped that it at least had some sort of wonder weapon that we had in the past, similar to how Ascension has the Thunder Gun and Kino de Toten introduced it, but it looks like Treyarch didn't find it necessary to add anything special in. Number 4, 5 from Black Ops 1. The secret bonus map in Zombies, 5 is based in the Pentagon where you play as a major world leader such as the President of the United States or the leader of Cuba, and then have to fight hordes of zombies. The map isn't entirely terrible, but there's a lot of reasons why this map isn't on our list of favorites. Easily the first thing that comes to my mind when thinking of this map is the Pentagon Thief who steals your weapons and if you don't kill him in a certain time, he'll take it away forever. He's pretty much invincible unless you have a ray gun or one of the wonder weapons. And if you're not the one who he steals the weapons from, he's going to be completely invincible and the only way you'll see him is a red mist. If you don't stop him, he'll take away all of your guns that you and your friends have and it'll be super annoying. We all know that one guy who would camp in the elevator and when you actually needed to go in it, they'll press the button and you'll be trapped alone with a horde of zombies. It really highlights our point that trying to get around this map is a pain because you never really know where you're gonna land when you jump through the tons of teleporters and the elevators are extremely unreliable. It makes it extremely difficult to revive friends when they're on a different area of the map and that's why it came at number 4. Number 3, Shangri-La from Black Ops 1. A lot of you are probably going to disagree with our decision for putting this on our list, but let me explain to you why we don't like this map. The dynamics of it are extremely annoying when it comes to the mud puddle maze or even the minecart. It was just really annoying to maneuver around the map. We also really dislike the fact that Shangri-La is very close cornered, so to add a napalm exploding zombie and a shrieker that can completely disorient you is a terrible idea. Another major reason to dislike this is because of the monkeys on it. If you ever get a perk drop or a power up, the monkeys will just swoop in and stealing it, making it so irritating. On the other hand though, we really do like the wonder weapon and the easter egg on the map, but that really doesn't outweigh all the cons we just listed. Number 2, Buried from Black Ops 2. Known as the easiest zombies map to ever be created, Buried is featured in an old underground collapsed town. There's so much wrong with this map that it's quite obvious it had to be on this list. I personally extremely dislike Barry because Zombies is supposed to be hard, but just about anyone could easily get to a high round on this map. We don't like the bank system because you can literally get yourself all set up by round one. Then we have Leroy who could re-spin the box for you, open up the majority of the doors, and create your own buildables. Speaking of buildables, the buildables are so OP in this map and it literally just makes it so you can camp and not have to do anything. Let's say you finally get all your guns, your perks, and then you go down. Well, you know what? It doesn't even matter because you have a time bomb that can go back in time and make it so you never went down. Their wonder weapon, also known as the Paralyzer, has infinite ammo that allows you to just stand in certain areas and pretty much be invincible. The new perk Vulture Aid allowed you to just stand in a mist and all zombies would just run away from you from a little bit. Overall, it's just too easy and that's why it deserves number two. Number one. Transit from Black Ops 2. With the nickname of Trans Shit, it is no surprise that this came at our number one spot. 
The bus was completely awful, the lava made the map so annoying, and the denizens were the worst addition to zombies ever. The jet gun is easily my least favorite one door weapon, and whoever thought adding in the boss should 100% be fired because it's the most annoying boss ever. We also hate the EMP grenades, and this map was the introduction of it. The only good thing that came from this map was grief mode, and that really wasn't even a part of this map, it was kind of the mob of the dead side that made it fun. So that's our list of the top 5 worst maps in Call of Duty Zombies. Let us know in the comment section your top 5 suggestion that we should post in the future, but with that said, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next top 5 video.